Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. And this video is going to be all about constructing the extruder. And if you've watched my other videos, I've gone about as far as I can go with that mess right there. Uh, it's time to build an extruder. So to build this, I had the goal of doing this with all off-shelf parts. And I've got everything laid out right here for the extruder part. And I bought all of these at Lowe's and Home Depot. Uh, probably could have got it all at one place, but I didn't know better on this piece. And I'll go over that in a minute. But uh, this is it. This is going to build the entire extruder mechanical part. So what I've got here, this is a brass plug and I like this one because the inside is cone shaped so when I put my drill bit in there it's going to send that sucker right to the center and all of these pipes are half inch NPT I believe that stands for national pipe thread and that's just your standard plumbing thread so this is a plug this here is a coupler now the problem with the couplers, if you go to your plumbing department and get a coupler, you will get a coupler that looks like this. And I had the bright idea, maybe I could turn it down smooth on the lathe instead of having to mail order a special coupler. And Russ gave me the bright idea. He said, hey, why don't you go over to the electrical department and get a conduit coupler? And sure enough, I went back and that's what I got. That's what this is. And it just screws on to the end of the pipe, like so. And this is a six inch pipe. This is a five and a half, I believe, or maybe a five. It's a six and a five. So those are the two pipes. And then you will also need two flanges, half half inch NPT and a drill bit and this bit is made by Bosch Daredevil I got that at Home Depot and it is a 5 8 of an inch so what you want to do on your pipe now you see I've marked my pipes with a black line right there there's the other one and I don't know if you're gonna be able to there you go you can see it alright you see that line down in there that is the seam and when they make these pipes they weld them okay so let's see if you can see it on that one uh, no okay we'll go back to this one okay so they they weld these so if you go to the plumbing department and you buy the pipe it's going to have this seam in it and what you're going to want to do is look through the pipes because I have found that some of them you can barely see that seam in there and I know the angle I'm holding it it looks really bad but trust me this one is uh, one of the better ones I could find and there's almost nothing to that seam it's really more just something cosmetic than it is something in the way but uh, look through your pipes, find the ones that have the smallest seam in there because that's something potentially that can get in the way when the drill bit goes through there. So that being said, let me show you how this goes together. We're gonna put the coupler on the longer pipe. Okay, and then the drill bit goes in now your drill bit I'll go over that here in a minute this is a 5 8 drill bit and you can see right here from about here over to here that is the only part on this drill bit that is 5 8 everything else from here all the way down this long drill bit is smaller okay and it just so happens that it fits in there pretty good for a half inch pipe so we're going to have to cut this off the end from here over we're going to have to cut that off i'll go over that here in a minute but for now i'm just showing you how this goes together 
and then we'll put a flange on like this okay and then that's the front piece and I'm going to take a piece of scrap this is white oak and it had a crack in it if you see my end table video this is one of the pieces that got cut off but then this is going to be the rear half and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the lathe and cut this and make a little insulator ring and your heat's going to be down on this end and this is going to insulate this end this is where we're going to have the hopper and we don't want this to get hot so this is going to act as an insulator and then the way this is all going to go together so you'll have this and that you will have this in here like so this will be the cap where the plastic comes out and it's interchangeable and then the bearing will go over the end here like so oh by the way that is a half inch uh, flange bearing now this is a cheaper one it's stamped uh, this is the actual bearing part and these two metal plates go in there I'm gonna try this one because I've got a bunch of these uh, they're not as strong as the ones you'll see where they look like this but they're blue or green and they're all one piece but we're going to try this out uh, so this is going to go on the end here and then we'll put a motor and all and this bit works out great because this part here where there's no uh, none of this helix in here uh, this is half inch and then this square part is seven sixteenths so I can take a 7 16 deep socket and slide it over here and uh, hook that up to the motor and then we can turn this. Now, back to that black line. You'll want to keep this, I have found, at the top. So we'll line this where it's facing up. So the drill bit will turn. You can see it is not getting hung on that seam even if I turn it upside down if you pick out a really good bit or I mean a pipe that doesn't have a seam in it it's not an issue and another thing I'm going to do to help eliminate some of this is I'm going to have this facing up and when I cut out the hole for the hopper here I'm going to be removing parts of that seam so that will get rid of some of that seam too so uh, let me go over now to the lathe and we will turn this piece and we will also work on cutting the end of that drill bit off. Okay, so I brought this piece over here to the lathe and I realized I cannot turn this on the lathe and the reason why is I cannot get the tool rest to go down this way far enough. I can, but it's way out here. So um, I'm just gonna do the best I can with the bandsaw. All right, so this turned out pretty good. I'll just hold it up here and you can see what I'm talking about. There's a little bit that's gonna hang off. Not a whole lot. A lot better than having a big square hanging off there, but uh, that's how that's gonna go, something like that. So, turned out pretty good.
Well, that pretty much completes the extruder assembly. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos where I work on the motor and the electronics. Thanks for watching.